I'm going to say this because I'm recording and I'm putting this on the video so I can just no one will ever act like I didn't say this. The Broncos right now are a terrible football team. I'm saying it as a man who loves the team. I'm a huge fan. But listen, you're not going to get any argument from me. I believe that they can be a good team. I believe they have a lot of potential to be a good team, but they need to make some serious changes. Well, yeah. What's that? I have that. I have to pause the recording real quick. <laughs> okay, so today is 918. And this ought to be no trouble for you guys. It, we have one worksheet on this, and boy, I hope I didn't just jinx it. But we are multiplying uh, binomials, which, yes, you've already learned how to do. But there are two today, what we're going to learn, they're called special cases. And honestly, all the stuff I'm going to teach you today, you could theoretically just not learn it because you can make these problems take longer if you want to. Like Deidre pointed out, like this this thing I'm going to try to teach you, a shortcut method, if you absolutely want to protest it and boycott it, you can. And, and, and I'll show you what I mean by that. You can make the problem take longer and it's fine. You'll still get it right and all's well. So I'm just going to try to show you a couple little tricks today. So the first special case is um, problems that look like this. And I certainly do not mean to insult your intelligence by asking this of you, but as you copy it into your notes, let's observe what about them is spectacularly worth mentioning. They look the same, but signs are different. Yeah, they're identical, but the signs are different, right? So when you think about the components, the structural components, they both have three X's and fives, right? Except one has a plus and one has a minus. Good. Agree? So does anyone happen to remember what spectacularly cool thing happens when you multiply these together? So just be the same thing but backwards. You said they kill each other, and the pronoun they refers to an as yet undefined noun. What is the they? Not entirely, no. Let's multiply this out, and you can take a look at what actually happens here. So it takes four steps to multiply this out. And by the way, you've totally done this before. So when I multiply them out, I'm going to color code this to the best of my ability, okay? So I'm going to do this times this. What do I get? Yeah, so write this down. Stay. Come along for the ride and write it down so, so you're not the scroll back up kid. So 3x times 3x makes 9x squared, right? Now I'm going to switch colors and go to purple, and I'm going to head over here. So this is the first worker doing his second job. What's 3x times negative 5? Negative 15x. Good. And a big part of today's lesson is from you now having that aha moment when you see the green one. And the green one is right here. And what does that make? 15x. Plus 15x. And then, of course, we have the yellow one, the as yet unperformed multiplication. What is 5 times negative 5? Negative 25. Negative 25. Remember that we're multiplying, right? And so they, get, they make negative 25. And of course, the purple and the green should be of great interest to us, right? What's significant about the purple and the green? They're, well, yes, but also more specifically, they're what we call opposites. And what happens when you add two opposites together? They go away. You get zero. They go away. They cancel. Say it however you want to. But at the end of the day, here's what really winds up happening is the minus 15x and the plus 15x, as far as I'm concerned, never even really needed to be there, making this the final answer. So one of my objectives for the day is to get you to a point where you can start seeing a problem and identifying that pattern in the problem and saying, wait a second, I can shortcut this. And think about how quickly we could have shortcutted it. If we knew the middle terms were going to kill each other anyways, then from the onset of this problem, was there anything stopping me from just saying, I'll just multiply u by u, there's my 9x squared, and then I'll just multiply u by u, and there's my minus 25. Why mook around with all that stuff in the middle that you know is just going to go away anyways? So objective number one for the day is to get us to a point where we don't have to show as much work on certain problems like this. For example, let's see if we can do this one a little quicker. So let's do 2x plus 7 times 
2x minus 7. And today's not a lot of mixed bag. Like, I'm not going to keep secrets here. The worksheet has a lot of these. <laughs> so we really want to train into ourselves the, the shortcut pattern. That's what I'm going for today. That's today's objective. So what is this one going to be? Four x squared. I love it. And then what else? Just like that. Gorgeous execution of that process there. We don't need to mook around with the stuff in the middle. Yeah, there would have been a 14x. And yeah, there would have been a negative 14x. They're just going to die off anyways. All right, let's practice again. I like those. Mm -hmm. If I got it out and this don't show my work, do you want to get the right answer? Will you do that? Of course not. Okay. But honestly, I really am just trying to save you time. But if you if you feel like this isn't your cup of tea and you want to keep doing all four things, you get done with your bad self. If you're getting them right, I'm a happy man. Okay. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's practice again. First off, recognize it. It fits the mold, right? It's got the same components, the 10x and the 4, but one's a plus and one's a minus. So we know that the middle terms are going to die. What's the first part of my answer going to be? Say that again. X squared. Yeah, so the 10x and the 10x make 100x squared. And say it again. Right. And hey, based on what we're learning right now, is the back sign, this sign, I'll circle it in yellow, is that always going to be a minus? Mm -hmm. In this case, yes. Think about the pattern that we're involved in right now. Like we are straight up doing problems where every single time one of them has a plus and one of them has a minus. And even if I switch them and I put the minus and then the plus, who cares? I'm still multiplying one of each. It's always going to be the negative, right? Okay, hold that thought. I'm going to pause this uh, and we'll come back to this. Um, so are we okay on this? Yeah. We understand why the back number is always going to be a minus. We understand like what to look for. Um, so that's that. That's part number one. And part number two, as Diedrich pointed out, and as Peyton sort of said earlier, you can totally work around this by just doing it the other way. So I'm going to show you problems now um, that look like this. Yeah, I know. This, oh gosh. Did you really just do that? I did. We did that in... Okay, here's mistake number one. And I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to take one for the team right now because I'm, I'm that guy. I'm going to make the most egregious mistake that I could possibly make. And I want you to know that if you make this mistake, I'm going to send you down to Mr. Dishman's office. Is that clear? So here it goes. I'm doing this once. I'm taking it for the team. This is the worst answer you could give me. <laughs> there it is. And it's I'm not making I'm fun. I'm not. I, hold on. I'm not making fun of anyone if this is what you thought to do. I'm telling you, this is a perfectly normal human response. Because, and I heard one person say, can't I just take the exponent and give it to that guy and give it to that guy? Unfortunately, no. So here's the problem with this. First off, you're laughing at me wondering where I got this. If I took the two and I squared this. You shouldn't be complaining about me having a 16x squared because last I checked, 4 squared is 16 and x squared is x squared. So you shouldn't be mocking me having it. And also, I think you would agree that this 3, if he gets the exponent, that 3 squared is most certainly 9, right? So I'm going to show you how to actually do this problem. And I hope you understand when I'm done why that answer is so offensive to all of us who do this for a living. There's a big part of me that wishes like that I could just break the rules and just make a new law that you're allowed to do this, but it just doesn't work. And I'll show you why. So we're going to redo this problem um, the right way. Okay, I have a question. Sure. What do you actually use algebra like, to do? Actually, actually, like, 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 Resuming recording. So we're going to do this problem another way now. And again, this is the correct way. And I'm going to show you two correct ways to do this problem. The first way 
listen carefully now, is old school and it's 100% reliable and it just takes a little bit longer than the cooler way and it's fine. So when is when I square something, what does that mean to do? You multiply it by itself twice. Exactly. You take a literal carbon copy of the thing and multiply it exactly by itself. So if someone tells me to take 4x plus 3 and square it, then I'm like, Okay, so you just want me to take 4x plus 3 and multiply it by another perfect copy of itself. There's absolutely nothing stopping me from writing it out like this. So full disclosure, if the next part of this lesson, if you get it, you look at it and go, yeah, that's not for me, then you're welcome just to always do it this way. It really is okay. This is not one of these cancel the middle term problems, right? You can see that because there's not a plus and a minus, nothing's going to cancel. And then you'll, I think when we're done, see the egregiousness of the answer that we got before. So let's get to it. This is going to take four steps for us to do. What is 4x times 4x? Okay, and I'll switch colors again. Let's go to purple. What is 4x times 3? So I need a plus 12x, good. And then let's do a green. What is 3 times 4x? Another plus 12x. And then let's do yellow. What is 3 times 3? Good. And now as is like the opposite of what we learned uh, 10 minutes ago, this time the 12x's don't cancel. They actually compound upon each other. They actually double. Do you hear that? Double. Double. So having said that, my final answer is going to be 16x squared plus just 24x's. We don't square them because when we're adding them together, it's like saying 12 cookies plus 12 cookies. They're still just cookies, but now you have 24 of them. They don't change. And then we have a plus 9. Now, interestingly enough, that answer that I said would get you sent to Mr. Dishman's office, if you remember, was this. That's like half the problem. Which is two-thirds of the right answer. But I speak for all math teachers when I say it just doesn't work. And we get downright triggered when you try to convince us that it does. By saying that that's the answer, you're completely overlooking everything in this white oval. You're basically just thumbing your nose at it and saying, oh, you 12Xs are not important. And they are important. They're, they're half of the problem, right? So when you look at that answer, that white answer that I have written at the top of the television, I hope you understand that that's not, here comes some air quotes. It's not close, right? We're not going to play that game. So it doesn't work this way. Now, I'm going to show you a quicker way to do this. You can take it or leave it. And I'm going to practice both ways with you. I'm going to try to sales pitch you and convince you to do the shorter way because it's better. It's quicker. Is that what Diedrich says? Diedrich doesn't like the shorter way. So here it goes. You're going to hear me say these words a lot in the next few days. Square. Square. Multiply. Double. I come up with little rhymes. I get so desperate, like, oh, you're going to be in trouble if you don't square, square, multiply, double. I mean, I've, oh, I hate to burst your bubble. You better square, square, multiply, double. I've tried everything in the book. And the bottom line is, some people are going to take the time to learn it. Some people are not. But here it goes. Those four words will make these problems go quicker. So here it goes. Here's the same math problem over again. And yes, I know it's not going to be quicker because you got Mr. Longwinded up here flapping his gums. But when you're doing it by yourself, mark my words, it'll be quicker. So this is what I do. I take the first item in the parentheses and I square it. What is 4x squared? So I put 16x squared down. The next thing I do is I take the second guy in parentheses and I square it. And what do I get? Now, just nine. And I want you to notice that I'm going to leave a space. Remember, that was the answer that I said was so criminally offensive earlier, but it's so like part of the answer. Now, here come the last two words and here. <laughs> I hope for your sake that you just get this right now, right now. Take the two things inside the parentheses. I've conveniently for you drawn red and green circles around them. Multiply them. What do you get? 12. 12x. Double that. What do you get? 24x. Done. 
So you square the front, square the back, and then multiply them together and double. Square, square, multiply, double. You, there's no way you could logically try to win the argument that it's quicker to do it the other way. It just might be more comfortable for you to do it the other way, and that's fine. So let's practice again, and let's see if we can do the speed racer method. Here. Let's try the square, square, multiply, double method and see. Just so you can see, learn today. It's not that bad. I like to circle them while I'm trying to teach this so that everyone is kind of aware of how this works. So I'll be consistent with my colors. This first guy, I shall designate Mr. Red. Second guy, I shall designate Mr. Green. And I'll try to be consistent. Add them. Do you? No. You square, square, then multiply double. Mm -hmm. So what is it? Just, did you get it? Mm -hmm. See, this is what I'm talking about. This yeah. robot dance or whatever is good. <laughs> celebrate your success. You should celebrate your success. And while it's not a big deal, mathematically, it's going to save you some time. It's going to make you a more efficient mathematician. So in case you were a little bit lost, when we took the red thing and squared it, that's where the 9x squared came from. When we took the green thing and squared it, that's where the 25 came from. And then when we did the mashup double, when you multiply red and green together, you, of course, get 15x. When you double it, you get 30x. Now, I'm going to throw, I'm gonna throw a little bit of a curveball at you here, okay? Try this one. We'll see how you handle this one. I, out of, out of uh, just pure niceness, will circle Mr. Red and Mr. Green. So there's Mr. Red and there's Mr. Green. the minus might be messing with you a little bit but i'm all here i'm here to help you so anyone have an answer that they're ready to pony up aubrey what you got kid That is not correct, but it's a wonderful starting point, like for our conversation. So, no. Haley? No. First off, you guys are completely forgetting to say this X, and I don't think you're doing it to be malicious, but that X needs to be on the middle term. So our answers are going to go something X squared, something X, and then just something, just FYI. Diedrich? Good job. So let's take a look at why that's the correct answer. And I knew this, this is a little bit like, you know, you get to roll in and then you kind of got to learn something new to get over the hump. When there's a minus involved, it just tinkers with one little thing. But stay true to the square, square, multiply, double. It's not going to fail you. So if you guys take the red thing and square it, what do you get? Great. Now, this is where a few of you really screwed the old punchy. Take the green thing and square it. What do you get? Take the green thing and square it. What do you get? You 100% get positive 49. Let's think about this for a second. Will the red thing and the green thing, can I say that they will always be positive? Am I allowed to do that? Why can I say that? I realize this is boring as hell, but stay with me. I'm almost done. Why can I say that the thing in the front and the thing in the back will always be positive when I'm doing this process? Why? Or a positive by a positive, right? Exactly. Tuff's exactly right. Whatever I did to get this red thing 
it had to have been the result of something squared. And by definition, when you square something, you're going to get a positive answer because you're either doing a positive times himself or a negative times himself. So for those of you still listening at this point in the, in the lesson, the first term and the last term are always positive. You got that? Now comes the question of, well, how can I tell what the sign in the middle is? The sign in the middle will mimic the sign inside the original problem. So if the original problem had a minus, my middle is going to have a minus. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, but not with what we're doing right now. Yeah, but they can for sure. Yeah. You've seen it before, like back in grade school when you did scientific notation. So like you have you probably had a teacher that taught you like how the number 5,400,000 can be written as 5.4 times 10 to the sixth. Does that ring any bells? Yeah. You can also do it for really small numbers. Like if you had 0. 0.00000006 in scientific notation, that would be written as 6 times 10 to the negative 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, negative ninth. So... And they happen in algebra too. That's a pretty non-algebraic kind of thing, but they do pop up. So anyways, the same process still applies. I'm still going to get the 28x, and then I'm going to double it, right? So if you take the red guy and the green guy, multiply them, you get negative 28x. Double that, you get negative 56x, and that's that. Let's try that again. I'm going to throw another minus at you. So first term's always positive, last term's always negative. Got that? Let's do uh, 2x plus uh, 5 squared. Oh, let's change it to a minus. Apologies. I forgot what I was doing. 2x minus 5 squared. Here I introduce you to red guy. Here is Mr. Green guy. Do your thing. Square, square. Multiply down. Haley, what you got? So close, Haley. And and actually, the mistakes that you made last time, you fixed. So good job. Good on you. Um, you you conquered a couple of things that I wanted you to get last time. You just you kind of forgot. You you did. Here's what you did. Remember the saying is square square multiply double. You did square square multiply. Right? There's a reason I want those four words to get stuck in your head. Trinity? Yeah, so I'm just going to take Haley's answer and modify it here and stick a 20 on there. The reason math class exists the way it does is so that we feel comfortable making those mistakes and learning from them. And then I bet this time you're probably going to get it right. So let's go one more time. Let's go with uh, 6x. minus three squared. I don't like this square. That's okay. You won't hurt my feelings if you want to do it the other way. The right answer is already on the board. So good job. Well played, sir. You got it? <laughs> Did you forget the middle term? Are you just trying to get me to send you to Mr. Dishman's office? So you're trolling me, aren't you? I see what you're doing. That's not going to work. This ain't my first rodeo kit. Um, great job. If you got that, excellent job. The red thing when you square it is the 36 and then the X squared. The green thing when you square it is just negative 3 squared, and that's the positive 9. Don't ever miss those. Remember, positive, positive. And in the middle, you just multiply them together and double. When I multiplied red and green, I got negative 18X. 
And when I doubled that, I got negative 36 X. Well played. If you don't like that method, this is my parting shot. That's fine. Really. You're not going to crush my soul. If questions like this are the like, Whoa, I don't, this is, then just write it out. Just write it out as six X minus three squared like this and just old school that little sucker. There's no hope. So today's worksheet is on canvas. It's uh it's just this, everything you learned today, the plusy minus pattern ones with the middle terms that disappear and the squared ones with the square square multiply double. That's all that's on there. You shouldn't have to show any work on today's because unless you're doing it the, the longer way, that's fine too. If you use the shortcut, then you can probably do it all in your head. <laughs>